depleting. Buddy, you actually here? Uh, you you did this for me. Buddy could be helpful to us, and we need all the help we can get. He is a helpful little drone. Thank you, Mark. This is amazing. Thank you. Who's a good boy, hey, buddy? You are.
through here. There's a dead one here. I need some mozzie cream. Frick, you actually did it. Hey, hey, bitch, it can't die it. I didn't think you'd actually get one. Uh, they look dead even when they're twitching, hey? Looks like love at first sight. You kids be safe now. No, man, I'm not touching this thing. Although... Hey, Peach, I've got a good deal for you. I want to ask you about that slingshot you mentioned. Why are you so interested in it, huh? It's not going anywhere, bro. Once you're inside, go talk to Commander Swart. Pit, fire of the Bly. Tonight, we're gonna eat something fresh. I think I can access this terminal.
like this place is sinking. Of the gods? Speak! I brought the god a bristle worm and he let me in. I'm going to have those morons killed. You seem harmless enough, too soft to be dangerous, but you do have the stink of the flay ash on you. I'll be keeping an eye on you. The gods also mentioned something called a slingshot. The slingshot is the only thing keeping away the flame monsters. Those worm bastards were buffering our children for their parasites for years. Inverted swines can't even have kids of their own. They come out looking like smashed up maggots. Extra limbs, no eyes. So, they come for hours. Took the pregnant women. Stole crying babies from their cradles. Let those parasites crawl into them and take over. The slingshot here keeps the flay out. Vibrations inside it makes their worms go mad. Start burrowing deeper into them. Eventually turns their brains into soup. They think we were once the same people. How far they have fallen. Flay and the mongrels were once part of the same tribe. Years ago, yeah. We mongrels are descendants of those who fled to slag from Bars during the Agnate Wars. A mongrel child found an egg buried in the lava fields. The parasite inside was the first of the flay. Their numbers increased, infecting us, spreading. When they started taking babies, we ran. This base was a Bars refugee outpost. The statue there was dragged from the Bars at decades. We found a slingshot in an old agnate base and brought it here where it keeps the fly away from us. We hear its vibrations have even reached their metal city, stopping them from spreading out. Why don't you just fight the fly? No, their technology is too advanced, even for us. But we may soon have no choice. Every day the signal is weaker, it's failing. We're tired. We don't want to run anymore. We're looking for a more permanent solution. What sort of solution? A weapon. In the lost city of Bars. Our ancestors were building a weapon to deal a final blow to the Agnates. Find us that weapon, let us destroy the flay, and we will not need the slingshot anymore. So you want me to find an ancient city? and commandeer a lost super weapon. And time is wasting. Good luck.
Hey, good looking. <clears throat> can I can I buy you a drink? Oh no, can you buy me a drink? <laughs> I'll I'll you yeah. Atum. The Grand Ma sent me. What the f what the fuck? We don't have much time. This host has regained control. Quick, tell me everything you know about boss. Yes. The Grand Moor requires the boss weapon. We can use it to destroy the mongrel slingshot. The slingshot is old technology. Its vibrations are the source of the foul brute. The road to pass is dangerous and very long. The warden in Kirin has been disconnected, but I have found a way to add it back to the network. I have found a nexus. What's a nexus? What does it have to do with the wardens? A nexus controls the entry and exit points of a warden. Using a warden, you will be able to instantly travel to the boss homeland in Kirin. I have both the location and the coordinates of the nexus. The hanging nexus is, is in Zozo. He is taking back control. Coordinates are at one. I'm 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 gonna be sick. Why are you looking? <laughs> I need to rest. Come on, the bridge is safe.
He's still active. Must have been a while since you were last activated. What's the last thing you remember? The only one, the builders. They started up the warp network. I waited for them to return to me. I waited through the rain and fire and the storms and dust that shred the metal from my very home. And when I could make it no longer, I descended into darkness. Oh, I've heard some speak about the Mupani. Who are they? They were creators. They built the wardens. They were little peaceful and benevolent. If we are no longer here, then this world is an emptier place. I will warn them. They deserve better than to vanish. But it seems that their work goes on. And you, human, what do you want with me? I need access to the warden network. You humans are all the same. You create as I was taught. You destroy as I was warned. You expect those you leave behind to forget what you have done to them. I witness what your kind and tree activates. How you program them to slaughter and hate their own brethren. It wasn't me. It wasn't us. You say that. Yet you want my servitude. Not servitude, no. I'm asking for your help. What is that that you want? I need to access the city of Bars. I know there's a warden there, but it isn't accessible anymore. My second processor is damaged. Without it, I cannot access the warden network. Any warden can technology specific to warden guardians. Without one, the warden network remains locked off. I'm sorry you came all this way for nothing. Luckily, I found another guardian, discarded in a scrap heap. I saw that the ones lighting me while the Nexus guardians are regarded as junk. Now we are nothing but scratch, we pillage them and cobble together. This was a young guardian. It's my still for me. It had not traveled far. Not yet, man, the wardens. What does that mean? Can you add bass onto the network? With a selected map, I do not know which path to take, but there is another way. If you can tell me the coordinates of us, I can attempt a manual link. Where could I find those coordinates? But I do not know. I am an Exus Guardian. I maintain the wardens. Bring me the coordinates, and I will link the warden. And so then, the network remains as it is.
This place is kiff. Just yesterday, this was a city. Like this place took a serious beating. No radio I think signals. I can hear singing. No signals of any kind here.
Scanning for radio signals. Listen to them singing here. It's always pleasant to gaze on fresh eyes and a complete face. I'm old Antiona, a maiden of the boneyard. It has been an age since we spoke to someone new. Well, I hope I don't disappoint you. Such a fine and polite young man you are. I bet all the ladies love you. Let me rustle you up some marrow sandwiches. Would you like some tea? No, no thanks. But thank you for the offer. Your sisters in the kettle. They asked me to bring you a message. They may be our sisters by serial number, but they are not our sisters by heart. We left them. What seems like ages ago, maidens were engineered to farm. We farmed for an eternity. Some of us grew tired of farming. We followed Lebanon. They chose to stay with Grave. We have work to do, dear. It's time for you to be off. Can we rest for a bit? Grave? No. You are not Grave. My Fuabu. Unless thou talks. Now, I only have the bones. The bones are watching us. I can't hear anything. Yes, yes. The bones in the ground. They're whispering to me. And they don't like you. What are the bones saying? They whisper about a better time. A time before you arrived. I'm sorry to hear that. They do not care for your apologies. They have died a million times and they will die a million more. You, you are a stranger here. You do not belong. I'm Mark. Mark Leslie. See? Now we aren't strangers. What's your name? My name? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've spoke to anybody. The bones tell me my name is Lebanon. Partner to grave. My Fuwabu. I came here a very long time ago. Left grave in the kettle. I came to help. All I found was death and decomposing flesh. Now all that remains are whispering bones. Lebanon, I know who you are. What is this place? My boneyard. What are you doing to these graves? Tending to the dead. My maidens toil endlessly in the harsh soil. They harvest and farm the marrow of the oldest osseous matter. They form marrow. In the scorch world, there are no power cell replacements. We use the extracted marrow as a biofuel. Whose bones are they? These are the remains of the great people of Bars. Who 
Now, I've heard about the boss, but I want to know more. Bars was once a great civilization. It stretched from the east coast to the west. The Bars were great academics, and they possessed advanced knowledge of robotics, weapons, and medicine. They said they knew the true nature of the Penrose. They waged a war against the priests of Tribulation and Babel. A war they eventually lost. Listen. The bones rattle in the wind. Where can I find out more about the boss? The boss are long dead. But there is one who could help you. Kush knows everything about the Empire. I have activated him inside the Glossolalia. Perhaps the bones are wrong about your destiny. Perhaps not. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Wanderer. Come, Jerry. Yeah, hi, Jerry. I'm Mark. Oh, we have long to meet a traveler. We get bored out here, alone. No ascendancy, just each other. Jeff has been walking in circles for five years now. His pathfinding routine is not working. Or perhaps he's on some sort of predefined passing behavior to avoid using pathfinding. He claims it keeps him busy and out of trouble. Personally, I think he's lost the plot. Jeff, can you please stop for five minutes? We have company. You don't seem like the other Agnes we met. We're not connected to the Dallas Exchange. We haven't communicated with Ascendancy for a century. We were part of an advanced scouting party for the assault on this region. We didn't receive the schedule updated because Jeff was in defrag mode. After arriving in Tyrone, we noticed the place was very quiet. Apparently, several nukes had already been deployed to take care of the human problem. Unfortunately, the warden was shut behind us. So, here we are. Abandoned. How did you survive without your connection to the Ascendancy? Well, see, here's the thing. After a month of idling and keeping as still as possible while awaiting a rescue party, it dawned on us, why do we even need to be connected? The 140 kilobytes of memory we used to gather intel could serve as local storage. No more purging memory. We could even choose and remember our names. And you went with Jerry? Oh. I like the name Jerry. Makes me feel like a real person. Names can mean a lot when you've never had one. But enough about us. What brings you here? I have something important to tell you. But first, maybe you can help me out. Of course, friend. Although I don't know what we could possibly help with. Do you know anything about the Penrose Array? You're in luck. It just so happens that I was stationed at a ray site Alpha. We guarded the control arm at that base. Apparently it activates something I don't recall. I suggested at the time that we blow it up. But this sort of proposal is frowned upon in the military. How would I get in there? You cannot, unless you are a three meter tall robotic soldier. Although... You might be able to interface with a defragging agnate. Here, take my core cartridge. I'm done with the military. I'd like to pursue a simpler pursuit, back singing. You would need to be very close to interface, literally at the base itself. Goodbye, friend, and good luck. One more luck, Jeff, and then we are leaving.
Careful, Marky. Don't fall. Welcome, Overseer. I am Knowledge Slave Kush. I stand in awe of you, Great Bars. Go on. Kush must humbly warn you that it is no longer able to connect to the central data center, and as such, insight is limited to local object scanning only. What exactly do you do, Kush? As you well know, Kush provides valuable information and feedback on items and artifacts. To whom is Kush addressing these reports? Call me Mark. Kush is taken back by your informality, Mark. It is odd that a boss would identify themselves by a single name. Your soft-spoken tone and gentle demeanor are most surprising. It is not often that Kush speaks to a female boss. Please help me with some information. Kush requires discipline. But your small, soft-spoken words are obviously not equipped to provide the rigorous chastisement Kush requires. Kush is not impressed with your feeble linguistics and pathetic vocal consummation. Interestingly, your poor performance has allowed BR-12 to dwell on other tasks and has retrieved fragmented historical data from temporary memory. Please tell me what you found. The Glossolalia serves as a central knowledge hub for the Bar's empire. Scribes were genetically engineered to transcribe the vast history of Bar's. An age of enlightenment considered this slavery, and it was sadly outlawed. As such, virtual knowledge slaves were created in the image of those scribes. Kush is part of a matrix of 99, who meticulously catalog and cross-reference the past and present. Ancient technology is examined and catalogued. Temporary memory is now released. Gently place your item into the scanner, and Kush will vigorously provide feedback. Begin scan! Kush is astounded. Oh, wait. Kush's optical circuits were off. This one is fit only for the scrap heap. Don't you have a terribly empty feeling in your skull? End scan! Begin scan! This is beyond astonishing. On second thought, it's garbage. Mm. Kush likes the way you try. End scan! Begin scan! Amazing! Kosh is excited! The dregs of a washerwoman would smell sweeter! Don't you have a terribly empty feeling in your skull? End scan!
smells like our old school library. Scanning for poisons. Electricity looks dangerous. How do we get down there? Scanning for radio signals. Begin scan. Finally, something with technological value. Kush humbly requests five minutes alone with this cube and its intricate circuitry. Fuck no. Not a snowball's chance in hell I'm leaving you alone with the proto nanite. My capacitors are throbbing from the electrical discharge this little cube is giving off. With that, and your forceful and domineering verbal intercourse, Kush is having a lovely day. Ah, yeah, yes. Can we stop with the innuendo? I get on with the scan. Kush has only ever seen this technological footprint once before. Lebanon provided Kush with a device for analysis. Kush advised the Adnais how to activate it. Lebanon integrated his own power core with the device and was able to activate it for a brief second. 
That second was enough to transform the bone-dry courtyard into a beautiful garden. Lebanon would visit this paradise alone. Always in secret, his power drained to a few ticks above zero. One day, he could not move to visit it, unable to walk, unable to command, unable to live. His petrified hulk remains tied to the dirt. His head the only thing that retained some power. Lebanon commanded that the entrance to the garden be blocked and the device secured, so that he would never again succumb to its temptation. So where's the entrance? Inside this very structure, a few paces to the north. End scan! Hey, you remember making our own gunpowder? Of course. Dad caught us trying to blow up Principal Boyson's beehives. We need to blow up this wall. I don't know if we could make a hole big enough to all fit through, but we could try. It just needs to be big enough for the smallest of us. Just make sure you ask nicely, Mark. She isn't a tool. She deserves a choice. Give me the explosive and I'll set it up. Oh, that hole is way too small for me. Don, here's a bed back. Affirmative. Could you get through there? I'm not sure what's on the other side of this wall, but I know you can handle it. Thank you for the vote of confidence. If I do not return, know that I was struck down in the line of duty, entering unknown terrain. Good luck, soldier. be the bio seating device. Gotta shut this down. 